Hello guys, so I'm currently in my room at university. My name is Ben Felton and I am currently a UEA student. I'm in my second year and I study international development. Last year I sort of did a few vlogs of days out with the flat or derby day and I've posted these online and uh, I didn't really expect many people to see them but quite a lot of you have um, and a lot of people that um, follow my channel are actually from UEA and they've been telling me that they want to see some more videos. When I was looking at coming to UEA, I would try to look on YouTube see if there's any videos and there wasn't really that much. Um, so I thought this hit video might help a few people. I as a student I feel like I've got some information about first year, about the campus, about some top tips. Top tips. So today I'm going to give you my top tips to surviving freshers, to surviving first year at uni and to just basically enjoying yourself at university. So the first tip, number one, socialise from the very beginning. So what I found is that um, the friends that I made really early on in the term were the friends that I sort of stuck with throughout the whole term. So these people were my flatmates and we became really close all of a sudden. I lived in the Ziggurats, which is um, a 14 people flat, which sounds like a lot, but it, I wouldn't have had it any other way. And um, yeah, we had a really, really good time. The people that I met in the flat became my best mates. And even in year two, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that we're all still really good mates now. It's important to just throw yourself out of your comfort zone. Everyone's feeling a bit like, oh, I don't really want to go and meet everyone. Everyone's in the kitchen, shall I go and speak to them? But what I found is if you just go for it, everyone's sort of in the same boat and um, yeah, you'll make some really good friends. My second tip is to share. When I moved into the ziggurats, we all agreed that we were going to share our pots and pans, we were going to buy bread, buy milk, and overall this worked really well and the reason why I liked it so much is because it sort of like encouraged people to like um, integrate with each other and share things and you know it was just it created an atmosphere that was really nice to be around everyone sort of cooked together nobody like stole people's stuff we had one incident with a scratch pan but nothing major so that, was, that would be a top tip for me is to share your stuff try and build that relationship with people um, like you would at home. My third tip is to live in the ziggurats at the best accommodation. So I lived in the ziggurats which is the uni's best accommodation obviously. So like I said earlier 14 of us stayed in the flat which was quite a lot. We only had two fridges, only two bathrooms. You're probably thinking that that sounds like a nightmare but honestly it was really lovely. Nobody really uses the bathroom at the same time for example so you never really had to worry about that sort of thing. The only times it got a little bit stressful was when there was like three or four people trying to cook at the same time but we had eight hobs so it wasn't that bad. But anyway the reason why I love the ziggurat so much was because um, it's just the social side of things really, I'm not going to lie. You go into the kitchen there's always going to be somebody there eating and you can just socialise with them. It's just a really nice atmosphere and also you get an awesome view of like the lake and the greenery and it feels like you're proper in nature even though there is an owl that if you live in the ziggurats you will have heard which kept me up many nights but anyway the ziggurats are the best because you get a big big group of people which is great if you're a social person ask anyone who goes to uea who's been to a ziggurat flat party and they'll be like yep that's the best accommodation in terms of my accommodation i li i lived in a twin room with a roommate which sounds like i don't know it doesn't sound like many people's cup of tea and i, I was a bit wary at, um to start not of my roommate but of the situation we're both living in a room i thought we might get on top of each other but um the way the room is set out i'll put a little photo of it here the way the room is set out is um, like sort of, there's like an almost like a wall in, in between you basically so you're not really in the same room but you are because you share the same corridor but anyway I really highly recommended living in a twin room because it only cost me £72 a week I think it was or relative to the other people it was like £30-£40 cheaper which basically was your week's food right so my fourth tip is to go and visit this place this is damn good if you don't know what that is Every Tuesday night, the LCR, which is the club on campus, um, has a really cheesy, cringy night out. Everybody goes to it. It's a Tuesday night. You think, oh, that's a strange time to go out. But it works out really well because most people don't have lectures on a Wednesday. So the Tuesday night at the club, the LCR is always packed. It's always a good laugh. And they throw out these t-shirts 
And if you get one of these t-shirts, you're basically God, people will be coming up to you and asking you, can I, can I buy that off you for a fiver? Can I get you some VKs for that t-shirt? So I'd recommend taking a break from your studies because uni can be quite stressful um, and just get out with your friends. It's a great way to socialise. You properly meet who your real friends are at the LCR. Sounds cringy, but you really do. Um, like looking after each other and making sure you all get back to the flat and maybe you've got a flatmate you want to buy who buys you drinks. Cam was the one in our flat, he would buy rounds of shots, get, make sure everyone had a good time and yeah, it's just a good way of getting out, maybe meeting some new people and uh, yeah, socialising with loads of other people who are in the same boat as you and I recommend Freshers Week. Freshers Week, if you're not in the LCR then you haven't done a hell of a good Freshers Week. And I've heard people who've been at UEA and not even been to the LCR, I'm like, come on, you've not lived. Um, because the important part of uni, obviously, is getting a degree, which is why you go to uni. But at the same time, you need to um, you need to socialise, and LCO is is the best place for that, really. If you live on campus, which if you're in the first year, you will, because um, everyone at UEA is guaranteed accommodation in the first year, I believe. Um, not first choice, but hey ho, you get what you're given. So everyone will be on campus, so that means you'll probably be like a maximum of a five minute walk from the club, so you can absolutely go for it and still get home in time for your lecture at 9am. Tip number five would be to try and make some course friends. Now what I mean by course friends is just people outside of your flat. I think sometimes in when you're living in close proximity to other people, it can be nice to try and get out of the flat and socialise with other people. So I made some really great course friends as well as my really great um, flatmates. So then when you go out, you can meet up with your course friends, you can socialise with them, you can go for coffees. And it's just a nice way of making sure that you get out of the flat and you don't get, your uni experience doesn't get confined to your flat. So tip number six is to organise sort of like flat meals, flat trips, flat days, flat days out. That's what we did last year. We had like barbecue days. We had days down by the lake. We had days by the river. There's a lovely river that runs through the uni because the uni's built in at Erlen Park. Um, absolutely lovely, beautiful scenery. And I feel like sometimes you just got to organise those, otherwise they won't happen. Um, so that means like for our barbecue, I think it was like one pound fifty for all of the food once you divided it by fourteen or fifteen. How many people came? I think we invited Louis the Ledge as well. Honestly, the best. Um, times at university was when we were with the flat and we were all together having a great time not worrying about work and like you do you can organize these sort of things or they can just happen naturally like we found that we'd all just end up congregating in the kitchen one night and then saying oh should we go and get some drinks yeah why not that sort of thing so you don't have to organize it but I just found like if you organise it, if you make sure everyone's there, then everyone's included and you'll have a great time. Tip number seven is more of a university tip. It's taken me seven tips till we get to an actual academic tip. But my tip number seven would be, as a fresher, just make sure you go to all your lectures and your seminars. Not so much seminars, if you want to skip a few seminars, that's okay. But just make sure you go to all your lectures because in first year you will have exams um, on your modules and it just helps if you go to them really and you'll get a much better um, grade if you do. Tip number eight is just to walk around the lake. So uni is built in Erland Park, which is literally one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And walking around the lake is something that I did to relieve stress, um, to get out of the flat with flatmates. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely walk. Tip number nine is when you get to uni, you'll get given modules. And for each module, you'll have a certain set of deadlines. And hopefully at the start of term, or if not, maybe one or two weeks into the term, they'll give you like your um, your deadlines for for the course. So it might be like on week six you've got your first um, essay due in, or and week ten then you've got your exam. Or well, they're normally a bit later in the term. But basically, what I'm trying to say is write these down. And what I found is I wrote them down on just little post-it notes, stuck them up, just so I didn't forget about them because. Um, you can risk like forgetting about a le um, forgetting about an essay and having to write in a couple of days, and then it just makes it a lot more stressful than it needs to be. And I just found like writing down your deadlines was a really good way of like just making sure you stay on top of the uni, the academic side of things, um, and then you can enjoy your social life and not have to worry because you know exactly when your deadline's going to be because they're right in front of you, that sort of thing. So my final tip, tip number ten, is to find the balance. It's important at university, I believe, to go out with your mates, have a good time, socialise, build friendships because 
basically they make up the biggest part of your uni experience. But also obviously the work side of it is important and you need to make sure you get a balance. Now during freshers, um, you just definitely want to go all social. If you miss a few lectures, it's not going to matter at the end of the day. First year doesn't even count anyway. But anyway, people like you, if anyone from UEA watches this, they can be like, what is he saying? Go to all your lectures and you'll be absolutely fine. It's my top tip. And then if you want to go on a night out, just go for it. So I found the balance between work and social life. I did a lot more socialising in first year than I did work. Um, and I think that it's the same with most people at university. Second year is a little bit different, um, where you've got to get your head down, you've got to work a little bit more. But anyway, that, I can talk about that in another video. And that basically sums it up. They are my top 10 tips. If you want to come to university at the University of East Anglia and you're not sure, hopefully I've given you a little bit more of an insight into what the uni experience is like at UEA. Um, if you'd like some more videos like this, then let me comment down below and say, oh, I'd love to know. I'd love to see a video about accommodation or I'd love to see a video about um, five, top five things to do at UEA or coffee shops. Or Anyway, I've got a lot of ideas. Let me know in the comment section down below what else you want me to talk about. If this video has been helpful, then leave a like so other people can hopefully see this video too. And uh, if you're new to the channel, um, subscribe. I do daily vlogs at UEA. My final thing would just be like, just go for it. UEA, honestly, is one of the best universities around. Um, I've not been to another university, but I've, from my experiences, from my friends' experiences, we're all having an amazing time. Everyone is lovely, and I would recommend you coming here too. That is very cringy. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you're new, subscribe, and we'll see you again with another one soon. Bye, guys. Ah, that was fun, wasn't it?